Good morning, everyone. In today's session, we are going to talk about search strategies and selection process. Okay, selection of relevant papers. And as these are part of the SLR phases, I want to start off with SLR phases a little bit. And there is a bit of writing that we would do today. So yesterday there was not much writing, but today there will be writing that we would cover. Okay, so let's start. So like I mentioned in the earlier uh, lectures, in a SLR, there are three phases, planning, conducting, and reporting. So for that, I think there is one uh, thing that I will cover today, I think, if I am not wrong. Uh, this is called as pre-search. You know, when you actually begin searching, before that you do a pre-search to see what kind of results you are getting. So what you have done, uh, maybe we can classify that as pre-search. And based on that pre-search, we can refine the keyword strings, search strings, uh, to get more uh, realistic results. Yeah, okay. So I think that is that is quite common in this situation. So we will have to come up with a common ground to see where we get the most uh, reasonable number. So we'll do that. Uh, so don't worry about that. But my uh, intention behind uh, getting you to do the keyword search early on was to start getting to that thought that you have right now. So you also have time to digest that information that there may be a lot of papers out there. What is it that I could do to refine those results? Okay, that's fine. Don't worry. We will go through that. Today, I want to start off with a few uh, few slides that will give you an idea of the first couple of sentences that you should write in your methodology section. Okay, and most of the time, these couple of sentences talk about the approach, the review approach that is used in the paper. For example, in this paper, it says, to achieve the objective of answering the research questions, we conducted the systematic literature review under the guidance published by Kitchenham and Charters. Okay, like I said yesterday, this is a very commonly used paper when you are doing SLRs, especially in the software, uh, software engineering and related disciplines. There are some other references as well. And in today's class activity, I would ask you to do one of that one of that tasks to find out these couple of starting sentences, what they are and how they, uh, what references they are using, because that will give you your discipline specific SLR guidance papers that you can follow. Next, it says, we sought to move through the planning, conducting and reporting phases of the review in iterations to allow for a thorough evaluation of SLR. So those are the three phases that we have been talking about. And this is kind of formally stated in the first two sentences of the methodology section. Let's look at another example. So this is from another paper. And here it says, the method used in this systematic review follows the PRISMA guidelines. So another different methodology for SLR. In this study, we adopted Booth, Booth et al's systematic approach to literature review and followed the three phase methodology employed by Guy as depicted in figure one. So these are all papers that I have been uh, using in the past as well. And I will maybe what I will do is I will share. I'll copy the names of these papers. All these are open access so you can download it. Uh, another paper we conducted our SLR by following the guidelines from Kitchenham and Charters, again the same reference, as well as consulting other relevant guidelines like Peterson, Shaheen and Yugen. Our review protocol consisted of four parts, search strategy, inclusion and exclusion criteria, selection process and data extraction and synthesis. So today we are going to do the step one and step three from this list. Let's look at another example. We conducted a comprehensive SLR study thoroughly following the systematic guidelines defined and stated in these references with the aim of identifying and classifying the types of machine learning algorithms or techniques used for identifying the software requirements. So here first sentence kind of integrates SLR, the, uh, the guidelines that they have used, plus it relates to the research question. Okay, so that is also a way you can start your writing. Now, the steps of SLR research method encompass, encompass the following activities. So again, the same three or four different areas or steps. 